Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. It's a Micro Tech Tech Tuesday. My name's Paul, and I know you're subscribed because you want to follow along as I try to figure out what I'm doing with my Micro Tech. Maybe you've got one. Maybe you're trying to figure it all out. It's going to take me some time to get through all of the features, and I do appreciate the comments and suggestions of what I should look at next. Now, one thing that's a little bit unresolved, and I hope to get a step closer to fixing it today, is... I tried a couple of months ago to set up an SMB share on my RB5009 router and well, there's an issue. You see the USB drive, its correct size was not being seen. So when I tried to access it from my Windows PC, I didn't see that it was a 500 gig drive. I just saw two gigs, clearly a problem. Now, that set me on the path of updating my router. About a month ago, I tried just that and failed miserably. Now I got everything running again but in the process I lost the entire config and I just had to reconfigure it all from memory or trial and error. So today I'm going to do two important steps to get me a step closer to having that SMB share working. And there's a little surprise in here as well. Some good news. First step, this is normally where I am in my web fig. I just log straight in via a browser to the RB5009. I mean, why not? It's there. I don't need any other software. Just here I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Terminal. Now in Terminal, I am going to take a backup. It's going to be a plain text file. You might have seen me last week do this. But repetition, that's a good thing. So let's do that first. Export file equals backup at terse show sensitive. So this is going to create a text file that has all of the information, including things like the Wi-Fi password. You don't want to share this file around with anyone, but it's going to be very useful if my upgrade process fails and the config gets corrupted. That's what happened to me last time. Well, now I'll at least have a file that I can refer to. I can open it up in any old text editor and I can at least manually refer to it as I set everything up in the router again. So once you've exported the file, go back to WebVic, then go down to files and in here, there's the file. There it is. That's the one. So just go and click on download and I'll just save that on my computer in downloads. And now I have that file. So if the next step fails, well, at least I've got a config to refer to. Now the way I'm going to update today is I'm going to go to quick set, scroll down, click on check for updates. And you might remember also in the past, I was debating whether I go to a release candidate version of router OS 7. And the reason I was going to go to the release candidate is because it had the SMB fix. Well, there's some good news. On the last day of last month, that's just last week, latest version 7.2 stable was released from my critic. They must be listening. No, they're not listening. They're not watching my videos, but I really appreciate the fact that in this latest version 7.2 that is available, if I scroll down to find SMB, and there it is, fixed SMB 2.0 disk size reporting. That is the fix that I want. So guess what? Oh, I don't need to upgrade to the release candidate, which could have some potential untested, un... I don't know. Others have told me, don't worry about it, just go release candidate, it's fine. However, I now just need to update to stable. So what I'm going to do, scroll back up here. This really should be as easy as selecting what I want to upgrade, stable, I've got 7.1.3 installed, latest version 7.2, download and install. Downloading. It's rebooting. This is again the moment where I may have just killed my router or it'll just come back to life and everything will just work perfectly. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, I expect it to take a little while. I'm not going to be in too much of a hurry. 
Would you like to wait, or shall I pause a moment and just leap forward with the magic of editing? Okay. Should we leap forward? Let's do that. I'll just go check the cupboard. That's where the router is. So, welcome back. Just saw my network come back. The lights were flashing normally in the cupboard. So I'm gonna try now to log into the router again. Uh, let's have a look. I can see it here. This is good. Let's get the password in there. And let's have a look. Oh, it worked. It worked. There it is, router OS version 7.2 stable. <sighs> it worked. Oh, my critique. You're just fantastic. Great work. Um, yeah, this is how it should have gone last time, but it didn't. I had many hours of pain. Today, this was flawless. Absolutely perfect. Well, this is the way the update uh, should go, right? Anytime you're upgrading, even something as severe as the firmware, this is exactly how it should go. Okay, this was successful. I can now recommend at least the upgrade process to 7.2 stable on your RB5009. Go ahead, you just saw me do it. It worked, everything's worked, everything's connected. There's nothing else to say. I'll quit while I'm ahead. Next week, I'll check to see if that SMB share is fixed and if it's working. And then we can start testing performance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, my critic, more next Tuesday. Tech Tuesday. Bye.